bricks, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, Alpha Wax. Relax, will you? Hello, Alpha Wax. Foo we it is absolutely scorching hot in here today i don't mind telling you um but you'll be very pleased to know i have amassed um at least made an attempt uh to amass some bits before we start today which will please you no end i can only imagine uh let's get down to the google eyes uh no rain colon just says uh sweeney tart i guess hmm Mm. Mm. I suspect this is in, in reference to the the ever-growing suspicions about little Sue. I mean, the, there's, the, you know, the, the rumours will not be scotched. That's clearly what's going on here. Um, now then, was this one of those ones where... Let me just look ahead what's going in there because I have a sneaky suspicion this was one where ah oh, okay no that's fine uh, right where did I put it let's have a little a little shifty no it's not there it's not there oh there it is there it is it's going on there like that um what well, renaissance I'd like to make an official complaint. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're only five minutes. We're, we're not even five minutes in. We're actually under two minutes in and already I'm dealing with complaints. Here we go. A <sighs> uh, uh, request for official adjudication from Mr. Graham Triggs. Mr. Graham Triggs, the official bar, the official referee of Lex with Bricks. It follows. Uh, in the matter of wild renaissance, I'd like to make an official complaint about you complaining about my one complaint of the last few months. Get your book out, Kennedy. I, I mean, I, I... Anyway, there it is. There, there it is. Uh, that's the uh, official request for a complaint about my complaint about the complaint. Uh, over to you, uh, Mr. Graham Triggs. Um, and good luck with that. Um, ooh, look, this is happening. Good job I noticed that. Loving the fact we've left her a little biscuit. Little Sue. Oh, by the way, look, I put in... Have you noticed? Have you noticed? Ooh. Do you remember there was a spare a spare um, hole going, um, and I've put in a little green microfigure uh, to signify little Sue in her hand puppet form. Thank you. Yes, I will take the applause. Thank you. Thank you. No, it's too kind. <coughs> too kind. No, you no no really, you're too kind. Uh, Gary Blair. Never ending boing Gary Blair, Gary Blair, Gary Blair. Never ending boing Gary Blair, Gary Blair, Gary Blair. He says, uh, has she got something in her eye? I think he's quoting me. I don't know. Maybe it's due to something that happened during the ceremonial opening of the packet. Five months and counting. What? What are you talking about, five months and counting? Oh, I think we're talking about Alison here, who is, I think, going to be renamed. We will get to that later. You know, I wasn't feeling Alison. Um, I have, as per usual, Gary Blair, absolutely zero idea what you're talking about here. What are you talking about? What, what, what five months and counting? What, what are you talking about? Uh, Eric Oswald. I love when Emma laughs so hard that only occasional squeaks come out. Squeaky breaks? Oh no. It's been a long time. Hey, baby. Yeah, all right. 
that. It's been a long time since you've done that, isn't it, Dawn? Back you go. No. No, not really. Mm, yes, I probably do on paper prefer you to sorry Sigourney Weaver, yes. Don't be ridiculous. No, no, no. Nobody loves anyone more than little Sue. I'm not going to repeat that. Good grief. <sighs> Good job you don't understand what she's saying. Um, we thought she was from Canada and then we didn't think she was from Canada and then it didn't she was from Canada. It's J L U B. I have no idea what's going on with the biscuit business. Well, you know, join the club. Perhaps little Prue is trying to frame little Sue. Oh, well, here comes a theory. Um, yeah, I, I mean, oh, that's put a cat amongst the pigeons. I also forgot to write this morning that I wrote Relaxing Ferkel with the intention of how it has been interpreted. If it was not a slip up. Yeah, we, we all know what you meant when you said uh, relaxing Ferkel, Gillian B. Oh, very yes. Oh, very uh, yes. Um, Gary Blair, these sudden appearances of the great elephantine left pi left pincer. Ah, hideous. Look at the size of it. Look at the size of it. Ooh, ooh, look at the size of it. Look at the size of it in the wide angle compared to the tiny hand. <laughs> the, the huge hand and the tiny hand, the huge hand. Tiny hand, the huge hand, tiny hand. <laughs> Please don't do that again, that much. Shush, little Sue, I haven't got to you yet. Noreen Cullen. Uh, could you add a hedgehog for me, please? If possible, of course. Just a little one. Mm. Um, yes, I, w I will. I will attempt to do that. Let me put. Let Let me write that down. I'm. I'm going to turn uh, this. I'm going to turn this book um, into the request book so I remember. Oh, look, we've got stickers. Uh, stickers. Stickers. Stickers of a pingu. Stickers. Stickers of a woman holding a frog. Look, Affawak. Stickers. St skunk stickers. Stickers. Oh, more stickers. Stickers. St stickers. Oh, a pig. Stickers. That's a good one fish stickers um ruler ruler a rubber in the shape of a lego brick which is tremendous and uh, an unsharpened pencil that has no pointy end i mean who who has pencil sharpness anymore that's just that's a question that's a question hmm, i wonder if i have got a pencil sharpener somewhere that that's that's really got me thinking all right here we go this is going to be the request book uh for apple wax let me write that on the the front of it uh apple whack requests because to be perfectly honest sometimes i forget and i make no bones about that so um okay number one it's sort of like a, a Lego to-do list, this. Uh, le number one, Noreen wants a hedgehog. All right, it's in, it's in, it's in the request book. It's in the request book. Noreen, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Although I, I'm, I'm already thinking what piece, I, I know exactly what piece I would want to use for a, 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 a hedgehog. And I haven't blinking got one, which is a little bit annoying. 
because uh, I was going to use it on the back of the wild boar. Fenton, Fenton, the wild boar. Sorry, I pointed with my finger. <laughs> Fenton, uh, the wild boar. Being chased by Gunter. Watched on by uh, astonished and uh, possibly revolted onlookers, including little Prue, uh, possibly the evil twin sister of little Sue, possibly not the evil sister of uh, little Sue. By the way, I think um, Bevis said that her hat's on sideways. I genuinely thought that's what she was supposed to look like. Uh, turns out it's not. Although I sort of quite liked the, the craziness of this. Didn't, didn't you? I mean, it's a look. I suppose we have to do it the boring, normal way, don't we? Well, you can decide. You can decide on that. OK, let's get Twitter business up and running. Twitter. Twitter business. Twitter. Twitter. Twitter business. Twitter. Twitter. Twitter business. Twitter business. Twitter business. Twitter business. Twitter business. Yes. Oh, immediately we have um, the outcome of uh, uh, an appeal from adjudication that happened yesterday. Immediately. Uh, this is Graham Triggs. Mr. Graham Triggs, the official referee of Relax with Bricks, has replied and made an adjudication of the adjudication requested by a uh, Miss uh, Dolly Neptune. And he says as follows Dolly Neptune's request. For an adjudication is rejected <gasps> as it doesn't really seem possible to slander a fake identity well good point well made besides which little sue is in enough trouble as it is oh no this sounds ominous this sounds ominous oh no oh no in light of the evidence presented by Charlie Chops, it falls on me to sentence little Sue <gasps> to a period of no less than seven days in the maximum security Ethel Wacker dress. <laughs> no! It's always the quiet ones. I can't actually believe this is happening. I can't believe this is happening. Um, Bev Bratton says, You join us on the bleachers, where a gasp echoed through the Affawax as Mr. The Vartrigs passed sentence. Supporters of Little Sue are speculating she may have been framed, although her recent behaviour suggests she may be hiding a darker personality than we first thought. Meanwhile, in a surprise plot twist, a previously unknown sibling of Little Sue has been located... Um, near a tree. Could she be the real criminal or have little Sue's murky deeds finally caught up with her? Tune in for more on this breaking news. Back to the studio. I mean, I can't actually believe. <laughs> I can't believe it. Annie Miller then says, I was slightly worried for little Sue going into maximum security, but the way she's been going lately, they'll all be her bitches within a day. She's going to love it in that. Oh, well, uh, I mean, that that's true. Hannah Forbes just, oh my God. Everyone is just gasping, is just gasping. Apart from Charlie Chops, uh, uh, Charlie Chops, who fights crime, who fights crime with the face hair, who just says justice. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say to you. I don't know what to say, but without further ado, oh, the, uh, please tell me this isn't happening. I'm afraid it is little. It, I'm afraid it is little Sue. I mean, I'm going to assume it, it's it's this little Sue. Yeah, uh, uh, surely not, Emma. Sure, surely not. Please save me, please. I I can't do a thing about it, uh, minifigure little Sue because uh, Graham Triggs has adjudicated. I, I, I feel crushed. It wasn't me. It, uh, avenge me. By Grapfar's hammer, avenge me, Emma. Avenge me. Well, I'll do my very best, little Sue, uh, but I'm afraid off you go. 
to Afwakultra's uh, maximum security uh, prison. Here, here we go. Oh, this is uh, this is unbearable. This is actually unbearable. Let, let's let's bring it in. Um, oh, good. Gr will you look? Will you look at? Will you look at the? Uh, are those pirates? Yes, they are. Yes, I'm afraid they are pirates. Mama, avenge me, please, please save me from the pirates. I mean, I know Tim might be one, but he's sort of a nice one. But they look awful. Uh, I mean, yes, yes, they, yes, they do. Um, Please avenge me. I, I'm afraid I have to, I have to, I have to put you in the, in the, in the. I tell you what, let's let's just start you off in here behind bars, and I'll I'll just lie you lie you down in there, and. Um, Oh, little, oh, little, will you, oh, I can't actually bear it. But anyway, there it is. Little Sue is now in maximum security. Apple Wacker Traz. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to appeal to the Ombuds Goose. Ombuds Goose, Ombuds Goose, you are our only hope. I appeal for an appeal. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Green Triggs. Mr. Graham Triggs. Uh, hang, hang on a minute, Tomo. Uh, you're not really moving on from this, are you? Um, yes, I'm afraid I've, I've got to because there's other business that has to now be dealt with. Um, what the, do you think you're doing? S sorry? Just press the button. <laughs> sorry, did she? Did little Sue just say what I thought she said? I, d oh, I didn't quite... I didn't quite catch it. Uh, also, FYI, I've completely lost where I am. I think I've done that. Where did that go? Oh, OK. That's going there. And I think we've got another one going. Have we? Have we got another one? No, we haven't. Mm, all right. Well, I think, I'm, I think we're turning the page now. Oh, now... This thing, we've got to do some jiggery pokery here because I definitely 100% haven't got one of the pieces I need. Now, what did I think I would do? Let me try and work this out before we continue. Uh, what a shocking start to, the, to, to today's uh, uh, business. Mr. Graham Triggs, I think your problem with fitting the vase in is that it is supposed to be upside down. Yes, I, wor I worked it out, Mr. Graham Triggs. I worked it out. You also used a vertical grabber next to the arch when it should be a horizontal grabber like the other one. This will bugger you up when you have to use rods to hold the window together. I've done it. I've fixed it. Professor Lagow, to expand a little on what Mr. Trix has stated, for the vase, see the picture below. Your vase looks like the example on the left, while you need it to look like the right. It works because the one by one round plate is the kind with the open start. The instructions are not clear at all. No, they weren't, but I fixed it. I fixed it. You'll be very glad to know I fixed it. Uh, Mr. Graham Triggs, the Bob, who, who we, lest we forget, he won uh, the Boba Fett uh, in. He won it. He won the Boba Fett in. Um, in the. That's annoying. That's annoying because why doesn't that go on there? Because it blinking well should go on there. But not like that. It should... Mm, I wonder if there's... Let me just have a little peek in here and see if there are some that don't have... Oh, they've all got the bottom bit. They've all got the bottom bit. So how does that work? How does that work then? Hmm. Now I'm puzzled. Now I'm puzzled. Um. Hmm. Now I'm really super puzzled. I'm puzzled, gang, and I'll tell you for why. Um, because now this should have been 
like one of these, one of these, um, but with three, with three sides, but I haven't got one. But the top of that is the same as the top of this one that I am using. And this is calling for this to go on here but it should sit in the middle but it but it doesn't so what's going so there should be one of these but without that novel but I'm just going to have a quick look at all my at all of these and just see if there's any that haven't got a, a novel in the minute in the middle but I'm puzzled I'm very puzzled if Unless I'm being my usual stupid self, don't anyone say a thing. Don't say a word. No, look, they've all got that bit in. Well, that's an absolute mystery. That might have to be something you help me with, Prof Lego. What's happened there then? Unless there's a piece that has these two, but it doesn't have the, the bobble in the middle. Hmm, what do I do? What do I do now? What do I do now? I think, uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I, I don't think I have got any more like this anywhere. Just checking. can I use what could I use on there I can't use a tar top one because of what I need to put up because I need to do this I'll show you what I need to do I need to do this I need to do that and that is supposed to go on there, but it in the middle, but it clearly does not. I know what I could have a go at, but some of these might not be very. I'm just talking to myself, of course. Yeah. Now, if that hasn't got a hole in the middle, then we might be in business here. All right, let's give this a go. Let's do this. I mean, it's nice and colourful. Okay, well, it's it's not quite as is, but it's a good approximation and it's a colourful one. Now, that is, doesn't fit there. So now I have to do this. Now, is that the one? Yes, the one with a hole in. And then I'm putting that there. That's going on. I think that works pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that. Although, hang on, wait, haven't finished it yet. Yeah, that works pretty well. And we need another one of these here to make this work. So it's obviously a little cuckoo clock, but there we go. Look, I think that's a reasonable approx. I think that's re that's a reasonable go at that. It's not perfect, but I think that's a reasonable go. Uh, anyway, right, Mr. Grimtrix, who won the Boba Fett, uh, he says, the Boba Fett has arrived, the Boba, Boba Fett has arrived. I, I should note, if anyone's thinking, blimey, that's a while since we did Live with Bricking, um, for Mr. Graham Triggs to receive his prize. Yes, you would be entirely correct about that, and I'll tell you for why. So Georgie went uh, three times to the um, our local post office, and it was uh, shut well, she went twice and it was shut and then finally, finally, uh, after third time, third time of trying, she uh, managed to um, get it in. Now then, I've got a slight problem here with windows. I've got one brown and the rest are white. And I think I'm going to put the one brown one over here. Or, actually, what I could do... Mm, no, I think I want all the... 
yeah all right we're gonna put the, the brown one over here brown one's going over there i think it's fine it's a tree house it's supposed to look rustic she said although obviously it will desperately annoy the purists among thee which is fair enough but it's an author's own it's an author's own an author's own uh, gary blair something very strange is happening again my tube comments are somehow being deleted k passer i again i i don't know what you're talking about i can't delete them don't know well can i delete them i've got absolutely zero idea anyway it's nothing to do with me gary blair absolutely nothing to do with me now where the heck is this going i think it's going here yes i'm not entirely sure but oh well mm, i hope that's right i don't know she said i said two of these look Hmm. Eric Oswald. You reminded me that there are tree houses, uh, tree house cabins for rent here in Ohio, just a couple hours drive from me. I'm going to rent one when this pandemic is over. Here's a few pictures. Oh, look, that's lovely, isn't it? I stayed in a tree cabin once. I'll tell you a story about it too. So we was, I was sent, it was one of my, um, one of my, uh, I think when I was having to do like odd weekends away for the guardian and uh i was sent off to this tree th this place in cornwall that had tree cabins and um it was built on an old it used to be a, a gunpowder factory and loads of people had died there anyway i didn't know this when i when when we went to stay i i, I did not know about about the story of the place and um uh I, I went with a, a pal and we were sharing a room and um, next morning I wake up and hmm, hang on a minute that needs something there look that needs something there wonder what I can put there hang on please callers I'll tell this, I'll finish this story in a moment. I'm just going to try something here. I'm just going to get three in case that's how many I need. Because I don't think it will do it with a, I think it will be too much if it's one of those. Let's just have a go. Yes, look, I think that, that's, yeah, it's too much. brilliant look at that fab um so anyway she wakes up the next morning and um i say oh did you sleep well and she went yeah but i, I woke up in the middle of of the night and uh and there was a, a a man standing at the end of the bed and he and he was holding a rifle and he was wearing a a checked a checked tartan shirt, a sort of a red checked shirt. And I said, what? And then she went, uh, and then he walked through the wall. I went, what? And then she just shook her head and she went, no, just ignore me. I was, I was dream, um, I was dream, it was a dream. Just, just ignore me. Anyway, uh, we then that found out about the history of uh, the site and, uh, were absolutely terrified. Absolutely terrified. Mind you, Cornwall is full of ghosts. Dolly Neptune will tell us all about that. Absolutely rammed with them. Rammed. Rammed. Um, Bevis Musson. Bevis Musson, I got strawberry, the sensei, Bevis the batterer, the moaning mini, the Lego whisperer. He says, uh, we stayed at a campsite in the Loire Valley a few years back. The 
had some super tree houses in it. We didn't have one, but they looked lovely. I mean, who doesn't love a tree house? Who doesn't love a tree house? Probably people who don't like trees or houses in trees. Hmm. Gloom Triggs, I'm not sure how I feel about minifigures arriving in body bags. I mean, he's got, I mean, he's got a point. He's got a point. I, I, he has got a point, and I, w I will accept that I hadn't fully appreciated that. Uh, now I'm using. I haven't got a, a little silver, a, a silver one. So I thought I would use a dark, a dark watery one to signify a mirror there. But I think that works perfectly well. Now also here, it requires a ship in a bottle, which I do not have. So I'm going to put a fish up. But now I've sort of got to work out how to fix it in. And where it's going in, it's not entirely clear. I mean, it must be here. It must be here. But... I wonder how we do that. I've got this. I've got that there. Quite nice to have it there, wouldn't it? Rather than sticking out. But it sort of wants it to go that way. But I, I think it should go this way. Ooh, I wonder if I could use. Um, hang on, where are they? Would this work? Probably not because it needs a grabber. I'm thinking about these invisible holders. Hmm, hang on. Actually, it might work better than this. Let me just have a little go here. If I stick that in there, will it go in? Yes, it will. And then that can go there. Will it go on? Oh, darn it, I thought that would fit on the end of there. Unless, unless I use a stud hole. No, that won't. No, no, one of these, one of these. Look, one of these. With. Hmm. I mean, it's not. It's not. It's not great, is it? Uh, that's. That doesn't really work. No, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. What can I do? That's just, I think it's the angles, the angles wrong. Um, yeah, that, that won't work. Um, the only other thing I can think of is, is this um hang on that's too big that's too high um let me just have a go have that but again it might be too high but let's let's just give it a go shall we well if that that works doesn't it yeah all right as long as we're going higher up we should be fine um Bevis Musson, in reply to Mr. Graham Triggs, uh, the uh, official, uh, the VAR, the official referee of Relax with Bricks, uh, says, uh, my thoughts exactly about the minifigures arriving in body, body bags. The fact they then had giant scissors waved in the vicinity of their heads just added insult to injury. Now, without further ado, um, we have got a half-time show, although we're a little bit over uh, the half-time for the half-time show, but nevertheless, 
Uh, this has been sent in by Professor Lego. So this is a Professor Lego made halftime show. Wasn't that marvellous? I very much enjoyed uh, the end section where uh, he just sort of lets rip uh, and, and the shaking fist. But, but, but I, mm, uh, house points deducted, uh, Professor Lego, for the fact that you uh, have subjected us to the build that must never be named. Uh, I mean, I don't know what you were thinking there, but, you know, well done. Well done. I very much enjoyed your halftime show. Well done. Well done. Uh, Gary Blair. Uh, looky, looky. Ha ha ha. Now I can break with impunity. Not necessarily the brand that rhymes with pregow. Suck it. Oh, look, it's finally arrived. I mean, that's only taken months to get to you, Gary Blair. Absolutely months, but I'm delighted to see it uh, has arrived. Um... I've noticed that a lot of you are wondering who got the uh, 0007 uh, gang member badge. I can reveal that it, 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 it is written out, it is waiting to go, but it has still not been sent out um, uh, for reasons that uh, I'm not going to divulge. I, I, I shan't divulge them, um, but at, at person's request... Uh, because something else it will be going that person's way at some point and they asked that um, everything be sent at the same time so the double 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 uh, the triple o seven let's do it that way the triple o seven membership card is yet to be received by the triple o seven person uh, FYI just to keep uh, just to keep you on your toes with that. This is rather... I've gone for white with a bit of yellow because I, I like a bit of colour. Um, where are we up to? Where are we up to? Katie Hall. Um, finally, is this the original or did she send you another? No, it's, that's the original. It's crazy mine made it to Washington State before you got yours. Yeah, mm, yeah I know. Um, Walter and Essence, uh, I have a little so recites based on her performance today. All right, okay, without further ado, uh, it is time for... Uh... Little Sue recites. Hello, oh, it's me, 
tells you. Yes, I know. I'm not the I'm uh, I'm not the one that is currently in a Vowaga dress. That is the other little zoo, the mini thing. Uh, little little zoo. Uh, but I would also like to appeal uh, to the onboard schools um, because I think there's seven days in maximum security at Vowaga dress. Yes. A very harsh uh, sentence, and I hope that uh, the Ombud School's uh, Pink Lady uh, will hear uh, my appeal. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Th that wasn't what you were asked to read out, though, was it? No. No, it wasn't. Well, maybe uh, if you don't want to get into further trouble, I would suggest that um, you, you do as you're asked. Have you got yourself into a, into a bob, bit of bother there with the with with the phone, uh, Emma? It's just be quiet. Just just read this out now. <clears throat> All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. I mean, Emma, is this a, is it just going to be that sentence or nothing else? Um. Yes. 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 It is. I mean. I mean. Who? Who writes a, a poem that's that's just one sentence over and over again? I'm a who who would do who would do this? Well, it's it's actually from a film, Little Sue, um, uh, called The Shining. The, the Shining. Um, is it is it about a, a shiny diamond, um, or a a brand new saucepan? Um. I don't, I don't think there's there's ever been a film about a brand new saucepan. No. Oh, well, that's a gap in the market, doesn't it? Um, perhaps I should write a script uh, about a shiny saucepan, a film uh, about the loves and, and losses and hopes and dreams of a shiny saucepan. Mm. Called Susan. Do, do you think that that... That working title, or twentieth century uh, fox, or uh, Metro Goldwyn Mill would would buy this idea for me, Emma. What, what do you think? The Chinese swordsman called Susan, and her hopes and dreams, and her loves and losses. Well, what happens to Susan? Um, I, I think. Maybe it begins with a, a trauma, like um, she's wrongly used uh, to make scrambled egg, and it makes a terrible mess, and the bottom of, of her is burned, and she cannot be cleaned. Oh no. Um, to be honest, uh, little Sue, I, I don't know if many people would relate to a saucepan story. Um, well, not to. A, I mean, they, they would relate to a story about burning scrambled egg on a saucepan. Yes, but this is why I think it is an economically viable idea. Uh, I, th I think just finish the poem for now and we can think about it later. Mm. Okay. Uh, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Where's the bottle? Well done. Well done. Well done, little Sue. Well done. Well done. Well done. Uh, then it's Masson. Uh, uh, little, little Prue uh, appears to have her hair on sideways. Mm, well, yes, I mean, I fixed it, but I, I'm still convinced that I sort of liked it the other way round. Um, uh, Bevis also has little Sue has scissors under her bed. And you said only psychopaths have scissors under their bed. So I think we all know. Who the evil one is? It can no, I won't accept it. Sorry, I, I will. I just. I will not accept it. I won't accept it. 
I, refu I refuse to uh, accept this. No, 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 I will not have it. I will not have my little, my little Sue besmirched in, in such a fashion. Now then, uh, that's right. Now I'm having to improvise with this as well here. Now I need a little rod here. Um, little rods, little rods, where are you? Where are you? Little, little rods. Where did I put you, rods? Here they are. All right then. Now I only want a little one. Is that the littlest one I've got? Or have I got a little one? That one's littler. Right, now, look, we're going to do this. Right? Et voila. That's perfectly acceptable. That is a perfectly acceptable uh, replacement for what has happened there. Um, and that's going on there like that. Right, well that worked, so that's good. Now... goes there and then voila and voila and yes right um Tim Tim Golf at Grot Bags, there's somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. It's the prison warden. Yeah, well well done for remembering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Professor Lago, uh, could we consider renaming Jordan, please? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah I thought you wanted Alison renamed. It's jo was this Jordan? Was that Jordan? I can't remember. I can't remember. Or was this Jordan? Was this Jordan? I can't remember. I can't remember. I'm thinking something like Drew or Woo. Uh, Sue and Drew sitting in a tree. Oh, it must be. It must be. Uh, it must be this. It must be. Uh, let's call him Drew. Sue and Drew sitting in a tree. S C I S S O R. I N G. Well, well done for that. <laughs> At first comes bodies, then comes biscuits, then comes hiding. The incriminating evidence. Mm. I mean, you're probably not wrong there. Uh, Rosie Lee, I think we could all do with a finger furkle before bed. Uh, helps with the relaxation. All right, that'll do. Thank you. Um, then Rosie Lee says, I, I thought Jordan, now for uh, Drew, formerly named, formerly named Jordan, was going to be little Sue's twin, but maybe he's Sue and Prue's younger brother. Hmm. Mm. I'm already enjoying uh, Jordan, uh, Drew, formerly known as Jordan, just saying. Uh, Stan's mum, I was convinced that you were going to name the minifig with the wasp sting to the eye, B. Oh, OK. Yes, that's better. Uh, Alison is now B, B, formerly known as Alison. I mean, good luck me trying to remember all that. Good luck. Good luck, Kennedy. Good luck to you. Good luck to you remembering everything. You'll never manage it. You're an old the of little faith. The of little faith. Now, why is that higher than all the other things? Why does that seem to be higher? Why is it higher? Is that because it's got too many things in there? That's because I don't think... No, that has got to be there. Hang on, please. Oh, why? I know why. I know why. Because it's different colours and I was confused. Thank you. Just take that out and that fixes that problem, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Now, what have we got going on here? 
Okay. Now that. Where are we up to with Twitter business? Uh, Kath Pearson. Um, apparently, both Mr. D. Dyer and I am Chris Ramsey are both affles. Could you imagine them joining the madness? Hmm. 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 Uh, Kath Pearson also says, uh, shot putting. Oh no, those are furkling fingers. Furkling fingers. Furkling. Furkling fingers. Stop it. Uh, Telling now says uh, little Sue with big scissors and naked running German can't see how that could go wrong. Then Tatty Forrester says, uh, "Does your extensive collection of lovely Lego animals run to a goose? I think it would be a fitting addition to little Sue's tree mend house. If not, perhaps you could make something like this." Uh, all right, we'll put that in the uh, request book. Uh, that does conclude. Uh, club business uh, for the day. Put that in the book uh, to uh, Tatty Forrester wants a goose. Well, all right, I shall, I shall see. I'll see what I can do for you. I'll see what I can do for you. It's, it's, in, it's in the Affleck request book, so uh, that's in, that's in place. Um, now then, I want that, and I want, I've run out of bits, I want that, and I want one of those, do I? One of those. Um, oops. Okay. That's going on there. Now what? Now, now what? Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. We've got about five minutes of building time, I reckon. Um, that. No, two of those. Ferkling, like Ferkling. One of those. Um, a brick. A brick. Where are my bricks? Where are you? Where are you, bricks? Where are you, bricks? You are bricks. Another one of those tubes. A tube. Furkling. Not that tube. Light furkling. Might have to be that colour tube. I'm running out of tubes. Um, and one of those. All right, let's see what we can do here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let's see how much we can get done before we have to stop. All right, so that's, that's going there. Yes. Then that. That and that. Super. Absolutely super. Right, hinges. Hinges. Now this is quite exciting. Might have to use um how many hinges do we need? Three. Oh okay, we have got we have got these. So oh a what? Oh, I see. Yep. Yes. Yes. Okay, cokes.
oh, I think I'm up to, I think I'm at time. I think I'm going to have to stop, which is sadness. Um, all right then, my darlings, I will see you tomorrow.